few YouTube users, and we're still working on the Hondo. We've got, this is part two. This is um, defense against a rear grab and a frontal choke. And hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next seg segment. Okay, now we're going to do this front assault choke, assault a choke, excuse me for that. And I'll be defending myself with a hondo. So, you come on in here. Now, when you practice with a partner or anybody, please do it about three, four times and uh, do it slow at first, then graduate on the speed. Do not do it full automatically. Full automatically. Your attendant, helpy, or, or uh, target will actually get hurt, and you can, you can mess someone up with this. You can break their arms, legs, commitment uh, a concussion this is why you practice slow then graduate it up on speed so now we we'll better get into this before I run out all the thing this is from a funnel of chalk salt so I have to move a little bit this way so the camera can get it all okay I'm sitting there I'm surprised okay I'm surprised what I'm going to do is going to slip in this. This is going to go across one arm, and what you're going to do is going to lever this person down to the ground and strike. All right. At this time, you can do you can kick, you can stomp on the spine, you can even hit in the back of the neck, forcing their head down. Okay. But, that's only to subdue them so you can get away later. Alright. Now we're going to do this from a different angle. The same choke hole from a different angle. I'm going to do it from this angle. So, you can get the full launch picture. Okay. Don't worry. Alright. Ready? Okay. Now, like I said, stomp the spine, kick the back of the legs, or in the back of the neck. Now, we're going to show, stay down, stay down, we're going to show this from the personal angle of someone down on the ground. After you put them down on the ground, come up, strike at the back of the head. At this time you can do anything, you can stomp in the back of the, right here in the, right here in the spine, boom, or you can hit in the back of the leg and escape. Not everybody give Helena a good hand, she's Good for all these training sessions and everything like that. Pretty soon she probably has to demonstrate all of this. So, the next one I'm about to do is very simple. From a rear grab. Now, many people say rear grabs happen so many different times and so many different ways. But, in this case, it's going to happen across the arms, like a bear hug. Oh, she's squeezing. Oh, she's trying to pick me up. Well, anyways, at this time, you're panicking. What you're going to do is you're going to sink a little bit. Sink in the knees. Hit back of the hands. Okay? Then, when you hit the back of the hands, you grab this hand. 
to flip over, hit, and throw to the ground. Place the stick over the arms. I'm sorry about that. Place the stick over the arms. I have to do it in a way where it will not hurt. And then hit in the ribs with your hands. Now, we're going to show this. We're going to show this at ground view. Alright? I'm going to show this at ground view. Okay. We have to do it so many different ways. We have to do it so many different ways so no one will get hurt. But, eventually, when we land on certain things. Okay, since the stick is across the arm, it's across the arm this way. Right in the back of the arm. It's right across the back of the arm. Okay, your foot is on the stick, causing them to go down. Okay, at this time, you can strike into the ribs or anywhere you can do. Either a down strike like this, original is a ninja strike, which would be in the ribs, would be like this. After all of that, that person is going to probably be all busted up anyways. So, I thank you, you two. I thank Helena. She is a real good sport. Thank Helena, because she's a real good sport. When I practiced with her on this one the first time, she said it hurt very bad. So, I had to lighten up on my step so I would not hurt her. Okay? So, remember, YouTube, this is real dangerous stuff. And the Hanbo, dangerous bow, well, actually half staff, and it will hurt people. So, please take it easy on your partner, your training partner. It's very crucial that everybody is safe when you're doing this. Thank you, YouTube.